Greg Powers, Dave Campbell's Texas football, and I'm out here at Byron Nelson High School. Just had the spring ga great game. David Cabongo, one of the top recruited guys in the state, recently came out with his top five. But before we get into all that recruiting stuff, I want to talk to you about what's been going on here with the Bobcats. How did spring go? How's the team looking? Uh, the team's looking real great. You know, um, you know, we're not having much of a drop off on offense, um, and I feel like the defense is getting ten times stronger. Uh, we had a couple guys move in from Caldwell Heritage, so they came in and filled some of the spots that we were missing. But overall, I feel like we're doing. We had a great spring. Looked like you had a uh, had it working at quarterback too. You know, you lost Jake Wilson from last year. Offense was moving. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A little bit, yeah. But for the spring game, you know, we had to shut him down just a little bit. But yeah, no, we we won't have much of a drop off though on offense, uh, especially at quarterback. Well, when you have that many DBs with D1 offers, I mean, the offense should move a little bit sluggish. You know, that's just the way it is. Talk about your own personal development. How do you feel like you've improved as a player? I've seen you out at multiple camps, seen you at the spring game. You've been moving all around the secondary. Yes, sir. Uh, I feel like I've developed a lot more, uh, you know, my eye discipline, my technique, uh, just overall being being better at, better at DB, you know. Uh, I started playing DB a couple years ago, and I feel like I've definitely progressed uh, a whole lot. Um, you recently named your top five. Before I ask you specifically about some of those schools, what was it in general that helped those schools make the cut? Uh, just the communication and the relationships that I have with those schools. You know, they've been talking to me a whole lot. Um, so, yeah, the relationships has been great, you know, and the atmosphere around the school, visiting the school as well has been great. The facilities are great. So uh, that's a big thing about those schools. I want to break it down into categories because you got three P5 schools that are in the mix and then two non-P5 schools in the Lone Star State that are in the mix. I'm going to start a little bit further from home. Indiana in the Big Ten. The Big Ten seems like a conference that has really made waves in the college football world. What is it about the Hoosiers that keeps them in the mix and can potentially land David Kabanga? Uh, you know, just just the culture they have at uh, at IU. You know, uh, you know they have they have this uh, this quota. It's called uh, Leo. It's called love each other. And I feel like Tom Tom Allen and all the whole coaching staff, Matt Guerrero, they've been harping on that. Uh, you know, getting that getting that information out to me. You know, and making me making me feel like a potential place that I can go to. Kansas is a school that seems to be getting a lot of momentum right now on the recruiting trail and in college football in general. Really interesting uh, offense and a very aggressive defense last year. What is it about the Jayhawks? Uh, you know, just 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 the DC uh, Brian Boylan. I like how he thinks. You know, I like how they run their defense. A lot, a lot of their schemes fit my style of play. So I feel like it's a potential school I could end up at. A uh, little bit close to home, Stillwater does a really good job recruiting Texas, the DFW area in particular. Um, seem to send players to the league. What's Oklahoma State got to do to get a commitment from you? Uh, just keep talking to me, you know, keep the relationship strong. Um, you know, as of now, it's looking real good because uh, they also fit my style of play, and I, I trust the, the coaching stability they've had there. You know, Gundy's been there for uh, – this will be going on his 20th, 20th year, so I don't want to worry about getting into the portal. I want to worry about going to the school and locking in and playing there. We mentioned the three P5 schools. There's two in-state schools that have a shot at you. What are the chances or what would it be about SMU or UTSA if you were to pick one of those schools? Uh, both of those schools are in Texas, you know, and everything's bigger in Texas. So uh, the SMU is closer to home, real close to home. It's like right here. And then UTSA is not too far from home, you know. So, yeah, it's Texas ball. So What can't you live without? You know, I always say this when I'm asking this question. I got to have a Chick-fil-A. You know, like Chick-fil-A close to campus, I don't think I could live without a Chick-fil-A being around. Sweet tea, I'm a – you know, chicken nuggets guy. But I know that's not what you're looking at whenever it's time for you to pick a college. What do you got to have? Relationship with the coaches, culture fit, what is it? Uh, both of those things for sure. Uh, relationships are most important because if you can't have a relationship, you can't have a home somewhere. You know, you have, to, you, have to be, you have to go somewhere knowing you're comfortable with the people around you. So that's the main thing. For looking for the right fit, that's David Cabongo, one of the top uh, defensive players in the state of Texas, man. Thanks for the time and good luck as you navigate through that process. And, of course, good luck with your senior season. Yes, sir. Appreciate it.